being the only NFC team to post winning seasons five years in a row, um, to have come so close uh, this past NFC Championship only 10 yards away uh, for going to the Super Bowl, the philosophy, um, I think, of what Coach Smith brings, uh, it's, it just really made a lot of sense. It looked like a marriage that it just meant to happen. Is there any way you can describe what it's been like for you uh, over the course of your career? Went to the playoffs your, your rookie year, and since then, you know, absolutely nowhere near the playoffs, unfortunately, uh, except for the time you guys played for the big division final game of the season. But can you talk about just how much misery, I guess, uh, that experience has been like? Well, you know what? I, I want, you know, being a competitor, and we're in the business of winning and losing it, you know, that's unfortunate that, you know, I had to spend a lot of time uh, on losing teams. But in that, I found how strong I was. I, I wouldn't have, going through those seasons, I wouldn't have given myself that much credit for being a strong person and having the will that I displayed if I didn't go through it. I didn't think I was capable of doing that. But once you put in the fire, the only way to respond is to, res to respond in the way I think I did. And that's what, you know, being resilient. Uh, never looking at the scoreboard, just playing to it, you know, all zeros on the scoreboard and seeing the outcome. And I never, I, I have a never die attitude. That is something that I, I plan on bringing to this team. They don't need much. They're already a good team if I didn't join um, the organization. So uh, I try to bring leadership and their, their relentlessness to this team and hopefully uh, continue in their winning ways. Do you, do you feel like it's part of your game that sets you apart or maybe makes you more unique than other backs around the league? Well, being 240 pounds, breakaway speed, and a tenacity to never say quit. How much did Tony Gonzalez coming back age your decision to come here? I'm sorry. Tony Gonzalez, how much did he, him coming back realign himself with his team age your decision to come here? It, just, it definitely made the decision a little easier knowing that Tony was coming back. To be able to play with a you know first ballot Hall of Famer, I think him getting his first win in his postseason uh, kind of probably you know drove the fact that he wanted to come back. He knows how close you guys are uh, to to go into the ultimate goal and winning the Lombardi Trophy. So uh, to be able to be in a, lock, in, a, in a huddle with him, in the locker room with these guys, uh, I mean, the best receiver for in football, and with Matt Ryan, you know, leading the way, uh, I'm very confident about, you know, the roster that we have and looking forward to the to the bonding experience that we, you know, we, we shall have. What's up, just as a follow-up to that for you, were you a little more undecided in terms of where you want to go before? I'm more undecided about maybe retiring. I really consider that. But, you know, when I thought about all the things I've accomplished individually, that's not why I played football. I ultimately played football because, you know, it's a team sport and it's hard, you know, it's hard to get a winning season, I can tell you that. So to admire what you guys have done and had the opportunity to, to join it, it was never about um, a, a lead thing. I didn't, I, that's why I chose to try to um, not drag it out in the media about my decision, but I really contemplated, I was torn between do I continue to play football or do I do I retire? I admire that's why one thing I admire about Barry Sanders. What's it like coming to Atlanta, um, being that so much of the offense was predicated on what you did, and you come to a team where there's so many weapons already in place and you can be the final piece of the puzzle? Well, you know, early in my career I took I took great pride in being, you know, the bell cow, the one guy that you've always depend on. And I've learned that over the years you do need some extra guys on the team to be successful in this league and to just be another tool in the toolbox is quite all right with me. I look forward to seeing some of the spectacular plays that's going to happen in practice. You know, there's one thing about uh, guys that make plays constantly, it seems like they make the better plays in practice. So I'm looking forward to sharpening my tools, learning from Tony, learning from those guys how to run routes. I enjoy doing that part of the game as well as protecting and, and working with the offensive line of blocking scheme. As a guy who's played in the league, Well, the one thing about retirement is solely my decision. It wasn't influenced about who was, you know, in the running. If Atlanta, you know, decided to go with a different running back or go to the draft for a running back, you know, I, I take great pride in what's mine. That's mine.
But as far as how teams perceive, you know, this organization is with great respect. And, you know, me having this opportunity to join a, something that's already been built into something special, it means a lot that they open the doors to me. Yeah, what's the right? Some players have a hard time watching the playoffs if they're not a part of it. Uh, is that something that you a part of? Like, did you watch playoff games frequently? And if so, uh, did you see the NFC Championship game? What were your thoughts as you saw the you know, final seconds of this team get so close? I was actually in Atlanta, and I have an auntie that lives here. So I watched, I watched the NFC Championship from her living room. Uh, I, I particularly enjoy the playoffs, watching them. I have friends all over the NFL. So um, once I'm eliminated from it, I'm cheering for the guys that are my friends, you know, and I wanted them to succeed and experience the very thing we all, you know, set out for in our career, that's to win a Super Bowl. You said early on ESPN when, during the season that, well, not during the season, but during the postseason that the Falcons were one good back away from the Super Bowl. So now you hear you basically saying that this is a Super Bowl team, like you, you're guaranteeing it or going out? I don't know. Is, it, is there a perspective? Do you think I'm a good runner, but? Well, yeah. I mean, you're sad to say it. I mean, it's all in love to the person. Look, everybody might not see it that way. But I think the Atlanta Falcons would still be good if I wasn't standing before you. Stephen, what's the right word about how, I think people wanted to say energize and reinvigorate but there seems to be that feeling then that you'd have to say that you didn't play as hard as you could have or would have up in St. Louis. How do you describe what a move like this to this team and maybe this possibility is? <coughs> Saying that I didn't play as hard? No, people will tell you, if people know you play hard yeah. every game up there. So to say reinvigorated almost seems like the wrong word, because I don't think you had to be reinvigorated. What's the word that you would use to describe this situation? Um, I'm not quite sure. You know, I think a lot of football fans just get a chance to see me that wasn't St. Louis Rams fans, you know. Um, there's one thing to look at the stat line and see what I've compiled over the years, but to actually get a chance to see me, you know, before a national audience, I think it'd just be a little bit more eye-opening, uh, you know, what I've been blessed with.